Imagine looking up at the night sky and knowing that just 4.24 light years away, there's a star, Proxima Centauri, with a planet that might support life. Proxima b, a rocky world in the habitable zone, could be a future home for humanity or even host alien life. Yet, despite being our closest stellar neighbor, reaching it remains an impossible dream with today's technology. Let's explore why interstellar travel is so difficult, the propulsion technologies that could one day take us there, and the boldest project yet that might make it happen within our lifetime. Why is Proxima Centauri so hard to reach? Even though Proxima Centauri is the closest star to the sun, the distance is mind-boggling. 4.24 light years equal sign approximately 40 trillion kilometers or approximately 25 trillion miles. For comparison, Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object, travels at 17 kms. It would take 76,000 years to get there. To make the trip feasible within a human lifetime, we'd need speeds far beyond current capabilities, 10,000 kilometers per s, 130-year trip, still multiple generations, 25,000 kilometers per s, 50 years, one lifetime but still unrealistic today. Chemical rockets, like those used for moon missions, are useless for interstellar travel. To reach even 1% the speed of light, we'd need a spacecraft with fuel weighing 100 times Earth's mass, an impossible feat. Future propulsion, what could get us there? Ion and plasma engines, already used in solar system missions, for example NASA's Dawn. More efficient than chemical rockets but still too slow, 40, 0, 0, 0 plus years to Proxima Centauri. Nuclear thermal and Vasimar engines, use nuclear reactions or plasma for thrust. Could shorten a Mars trip to 39 days, but interstellar travel would still take 2,200 years. Nuclear pulse propulsion, Project Orion, uses controlled nuclear explosions to push a spacecraft. Could reach 5% light speed, cutting travel time to approximately 150 years. Requires 300,000 explosions and a 400 ton ship. Risky and expensive. Solar sails, harness sunlight's radiation pressure for propulsion. Japan's Icarus proved it works, but alone, it's too slow, 1,000-2,000 years. Laser sails, breakthrough starshot, the most promising concept yet, uses powerful Earth-based lasers to push ultralight sails, could accelerate tiny probes to 20% light speed, approximately 60,000 kms. Travel time, 20-30 years plus 4 years for signals to return. Project Starshot, humanity's best shot at the stars. The plan, launch thousands of gram-sized starship probes on laser sails. A 100-gigawatt laser array would blast them to relativistic speeds. They'd fly past Proxima Centauri, photographing Proxima B and analyzing its atmosphere. Challenges? Interstellar dust could destroy the probes. The laser system must fire continuously for decades. Requires massive funding, estimated billions of dollars. But if successful, we could see the first close-up images of an exoplanet within our lifetime. Why bother? The bigger picture. As Carl Sagan once said, reaching the stars will require humanity to mature into a wise, resourceful civilization. The journey to Proxima Centauri isn't just about curiosity, it's about survival. Science studying another star system could revolutionize astronomy. Colonization. Proxima B might be a future home for humanity. Legacy. If we ever want to be an interstellar species, we must start now. Will we ever make it? Right now the answer is no, but not forever. Projects like Starshot prove that interstellar travel isn't pure science fiction. With enough innovation, funding, and determination, humanity could send its first mission to another star within this century. The question isn't if we'll reach Proxima Centauri, it's when. And when we do, it will mark the beginning of a new era for our species. What do you think? Should we prioritize interstellar travel or focus on fixing Earth first? Let's discuss in the comments.